think that says about zero right now. Merry Christmas to us. Yay. I'm Jay Jessup with Highland Ridge RV. This is my wife, Susie. These are our kids. This is our old house. And this is our new one. We're full-time RVers. Our home base is in Tennessee, just north of Nashville. We had a 21 Mesa Ridge, but now we have a 2022 Open Range 395 BHS. Yes, we've been through floods and some snowstorms. The holidays are fantastic. I tell you what, we're not turning back. We love it. Now, if you live in one of these states and you carry one of these RVs, I'm your rep. Let's do some training. All right, let's batten down the hatches. Make sure the dryer's on dryer cycle so it's not gonna take any more water. Top off the fresh water. Disconnect it from your in-laws house. Go back to the RV. Disconnect the water. Just enough to let it siphon. So you like, you know. Go back to the house, siphon the water out of the hose. Here it comes. This will drain the hose so it doesn't freeze. Depending how much snow you're gonna get and how much ice before that snow or the freeze, get your awnings in. It's eight degrees and dropping. Oof. Okay, moment of truth we get. <clears throat> no one's sleeping over here. It's hard to see. Big one's sleeping over here. Let's go look at the thermometer. This is the camera that's on the kids in there. And, uh, it's 74 degrees because the camera's a little higher in the room, but it's like 68 down in the middle. Okay, let's go. Okay. Look at the thermometer outside. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's cold. <clears throat> this is our setup, my in laws. Oh man. Nice blanket of snow. It's been super windy. The uh, wind chill is minus 18. There's a thermometer over here though. Well, here we are. December 2022, just the day after Christmas. It is snowing still, but we are out of the woods today. It's gonna get warmed up. Been a few days. Uh, we were down to minus two the other night, uh, 20 below on the uh, wind chill. And uh, we stayed te uh, toasty warm in the RV. And uh, the RV life, full-time RVing is great. And uh, you can do it. It does change the dynamic of the heaters and everything with the electric heat and the propane heat. You wanna make sure you use the propane heat to heat the underbelly the way that it's supposed to with the return and uh, let it work the way it's supposed to when you get down below 20, about 20 degrees. Uh, down to 20, electric heat's fine. But get on down to, uh, to zero and you got to use the furnace. Uh, and don't let the electric heaters overtake the, the, uh, the thermostat to make sure the furnace is doing what it needs to do. All right, Jay Jessup signing out. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.
Only outdoors.